Replaying a situation or a conversation will not give you the opportunity to relive it or redo it. And there are some things in your life that you have to accept and let go of. There may be conversations that you think back on and you wish you would have handled it a different way. Or you think of different ways it could have gone. Whether conversations, situations, all kinds of things. And we would drive ourselves crazy because we fail to release the fact that maybe we made a mistake. Maybe we were childish. Maybe there could have been a better outcome. But I tell you this today because, of course, I am signing copies of my new release and just really reading through different um, pages of the book and batching. It's important that we forgive our former selves. It's important that we have grace and mercy and understanding and accept the fact that we didn't know then what we know now. Of course, had we had the maturity or the emotional intelligence, or the faith, or just the perspective that we have now, we wouldn't have reacted or acted in the ways in which we did. However, oftentimes when we're replaying these things, these are not conversations or situations that happened yesterday. They happened years ago, a year ago, five, 10 years ago. You have to forgive yourself and make peace with the fact that that version of you, that situation, that conversation also work together to give you the perspective that you have now, the empathy that you have now. So, you know what? I'm going to read something to you. Might make what I'm saying make a little more sense. But for the person today that is struggling with replaying scenarios, replaying conversations, replaying situations, or saying to yourself, had I known, this is for you. So this is on page 97 from my new book, One Still Whisper. And it goes, you did the best you could with what you knew. I know that if you can go back, you would. I know you'd handle it all differently. I know the should haves and the could haves took a life of their own. I know that memory comes to mind and breaks your heart I know that the memory that comes to mind and breaks your heart has replayed countless times in your head and leaves a heaviness on your heart that's so familiar that it feels like a part of you. Give yourself grace. Extend mercy where you messed up. Cover yourself in love, knowing that you are not perfect and will never be expected to be. No one gets it right all the time. Sometimes we act out of emotion, make the wrong choice, or make matters even worse whenever we are desperately trying to fix them. You are not alone in that space of regret, but it doesn't mean you belong in that space. It's time to put the baggage of those mistakes and decisions down. Time has passed, and you need that weight on your shoulders to go with it. You are worthy, wonderful, and undoubtedly wiser, despite what you weathered. You are forgiven. You are free. And of course, this is going to be someone's <laughs> book, but um, from One Still Whisper, but... I think that's something that a lot of us carry, but we don't acknowledge. And we carry it without even realizing it by the way we second guess ourselves or by the way that we even look at our lives or other people now. And I feel like for me, for example, I'm now in my adult life, I feel like I make a point to not be a reactive person. I remain calm. I strive to not panic because as someone that was diagnosed with a panic disorder at 19, I would panic. And I wasn't a person that would be aggressive to people. I wasn't like that. But my panic would lead me to, you know, I, I got to fix this now. I got to say this now. I got to do this. Da, 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 da. And you make things exponentially worse when you don't pause and really assess your emotions and the situation at hand. You think that saying something right now would help? You think that taking matters into your own hands and controlling situations is going to help them? But you look back and you realize that was the biggest problem of all, <laughs> you know? Um, but that comes with life. And we all feel that. I feel like, you know, we can look back at maybe our 20-something-year-old self or our teenage self or 
Heck, if you're doing inner work, you can even look at how you handled a conversation a month ago and be like, I could have done a better job. But at the same time, the fact that you have that self-awareness and you can look back and see errors and acknowledge them and say, I want to be better. I'm going to make, you know, daily choices or change my mindset. That's the thing you have to focus on. Beating yourself up is not going to bring you back and give you a second shot. Like replaying to the point that you're not even living in the present is not going to help you because it's done. It's what you're going to do with that lesson, what you're going to do with that, you know, hindsight, with that new perspective. That's what matters. So if you're a person today that's struggling with forgiving yourself, letting things go, or God's opening your eyes and showing you that you don't have to have it all figured out. Not every battle is for you to fight. Not everything is for you to correct. It's for you to correct yourself. Take that as a message. You don't have to have it all figured out. No one does. And it's okay. It's okay. Sometimes the greatest thing you can do is not correct. As crazy as it sounds. It's take your hands off of it. Take your mouth off of it. Take your mind off of it. And just, just have revelation. But again, that comes with <laughs> revelation, wisdom come with experience. So make peace with those and know that you are worthy. You are wiser now. And you deserve to have that weight released from you. It's not yours to carry. So just want to give you all that quick message. Of course, I promised that I would start doing these more organized and not at random times, but I'm working on it, okay? I'm a work in progress. So, <laughs> but I just want to give you that short, sweet message and give you love. And I hope you guys have a great weekend.